I'm looking at the abdominal radiograph of an adult patient. Um, there is a dilated hollow viscous uh, projected over the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. Uh, I'm trying to look for the stomach bubble. I think I can still appreciate a non-distended stomach bubble over the left upper quadrant. Mm -hmm. um, the right, the bo both psoas shadows are preserved. Um, the liver is not enlarged. The spleen is also not enlarged. Um, Um, I noticed that there are some calcific densities projected over the left superior hemipelvis, mm -hmm. uh, which are nonspecific. They can represent calcified granulomata. The bones, um, the bones appear remarkable. So my most salient finding is a dilated loop of bowel with mm -hmm. um, incomplete uh, mucosal folds uh, projected over the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. I'm suspicious of possible volvulus, such as a cecal volvulus. Mm -hmm. um, um, a sigmoid volvulus would be unlikely given the absence of large bowel dilatation. Um, and a gastric volvulus also unlikely given the low location and the stomach bubble is preserved. So mm -hmm. I would um, correlate clinically. And also if the patient is unwell, suggest a CT to confirm my diagnosis. Right. You see, the examiner sometimes can trick you um, and not say, if I had said it's the same patient, you would have right away gone for the diagnosis. But what you're doing here in the exam is you're going to deduce the diagnosis. So <laughs> it is indeed the same patient. And in this case, you nailed it straight, straight away and um, you scored very high. And you said that's the abnormality. You look for all, and this is how you should be presenting every case of yours, okay? Go for the abnormality, think what it is, give your differentials and say what you would do next. So I think there was not a lot to, there was nothing to fault in your presentation of this case.